I am Luke, Luke Omondio Lang from Bigger Dick Park. Uh, my work is entirely on um, you know, climate change and indigenous knowledge. And what we are trying to do in this particular kind of work is we get modern science information and then we downscale it to the users on the ground. So what we do is we try to compare the traditional way of rain making, what they call rain making or rain forecasting, and then using that we try to harmonize you know, our modern day science results with you know, what the lo local com communities have predicted. So we use this mainly to help in climate you know, forecast adaptations at the user level. And we found it very effective over time because we compare our results with their short-term predictions and then that gives them the confidence in their predictions. Of course, sometimes we vary in terms of uh, our predictions, but then we sit down as a community with the community elders and then we try to harmonize using the government officers uh, the two predictions and then we come up with more or less our consensus best prediction, which we present to the community. Now, after that presentation, then we look at how can that climate information be used in agriculture. So we look at the kind of crops which can be grown based on the prediction. Uh, for example, if you are forecasting a La Nina period, say in the September, October, November, December season, then you look at the kind of crops that can, can fit into, into that kind of context. And we also look at uh, you know, how it can fit in the aspect of uh, water resources, how can that season for, uh, prediction be fit into water resources for water resource management that much. And we also look at how can that prediction be used in food security. How can malaria, for example, in the health sector uh, be predicted based on that particular kind of, uh, of prediction. So we map those areas, and then after that we inform uh, you know, management strategies on how to manage malaria for that particular insight.